Simmons, I'm Yo Schiller, and I messed up my intro! Although that kind of works, whistling and then making Mawile react, that's kind of fun. Well, hello humans, I'm Yo Schiller, welcome back to some more Pokemon Pata! I've got a Mawile with me! Now, why do I have a Mawile with me? Well, that's because I plan to use a Mawile in today's video! For today's video, I plan to use three Pokemon that I don't particularly use that often. So, Mawile, Goalie the Golurk, and Wild Wings the Buffalon. All three of these Pokemon have appeared in this series at least once before, but I don't use them all that often, and I thought it would be fun to use them today in a multi-battle, because I figure I haven't played a multi-battle in this series in a very long time. And in order to lure in some more people to want to play a multi-battle with me, I should probably have a few legendaries on my team, right? So here's a Black Rayquaza that I caught recently, a Tapu Lele that I caught back in Pokemon Sun, and Zarude, an event Pokemon that was distributed here in Pokemon Sword and Shield a few months back in preparation for Pokemon the movie Coco, or Pokemon the Jungle movie, whatever it's called in English, but it was called Pokemon the movie Coco in Japan. In any case, it's been a long time since I've done a multi-battle in this series. I wanted to go, go ahead and try to do one, and I wanted to go ahead and give my Pokemon that don't see the spotlight as often these days a chance. Although I guess Mawile used to see the spotlight all the time back in the day, but... Either way, these are the three Pokemon I plan to use. Mawile, Golurk, and Buffalo, and then Rayquaza here, Tapu Lele here, and of course, Zerude here are mainly here to lure my opponents. I don't plan to actually use them in a battle because in a multi-battle, you're only allowed to enter three Pokemon at a time. Anyway, I want to battle against other legendary and mythical Pokemon in these multi-battles because generally in these multi-battles, you see some crazy teams and people just bring whatever they want. So this is like a valid excuse for me to actually battle against all of these ridiculous Pokemon in traditional type circumstances. But I don't want to use any legendary or mythical Pokemon myself. I want to use Mawile, Golurk, and Bufalant. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a multi-battle. And now we wait and hopefully find a group of people that are willing to participate in a battle like this. Hoping for the best, and hopefully it doesn't take that long. Alright, I found a group of people, and hopefully they're actually going to stick around and not disconnect after five seconds, because that's the luck of the draw when you try to do multi-battles. It's okay if not every single one of their Pokemon is a legendary, but I hope that one of my opponents has at least one legendary. That's all. Regardless of what my teammate has, as long as at least one of my opponents has a legendary or mythical Pokemon, I'm good to go. It looks like my teammate is going to be Vivi, and my opponents are going to be Rosa and Alexis. And I'm fine with any rotation, I don't know any of these players, it's kind of the fun of a multi-battle, I'm glad I can even set up something like this in this game. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Alright, so one of my opponents has Victini. Would you believe if I, would you believe me if I said I've never fought a Victini? Ever? Not just in this series, just I've never fought a Victini. So this ought to be fun, and then my teammate had something. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm bringing Mawile, Golurk, Buffalant regardless. The other player on the opposing team looked like it had an Evolution team, but then one of the Pokemon was Mimikyu. Oh, Mimikyu. But the fact of the matter is that, I believe it was Rosa, has at least one legendary Pokemon, and one of those Pokemon was Victini. So hopefully Victini comes to the battle. I think she had two Victini. She had like two Victini, two of another legendary. And Zara Aura, alright, I mean that's gonna be a common mythical Pokemon in these multi-battles because that was distributed. That legendary, that shiny Zara Aura was distributed following a raid battle event that took place last year. So, here we go. Let's fight Zara Aura and Eevee, shiny Pokemon on the field. I did not bring any shinies myself. It's interesting because I do have a genuine shiny Latias, but I chose not to bring it. Want to give Mawile a chance to fight, although I actually want to switch into Golurk in preparation of Zara Aura potentially wanting to attack me, and that way I can always send Mawile back in at a later time and use Intimidate on another Pokemon who might have a decent physical attack stat. Now, Zara Aura, if I recall correctly, is a physical attacker, so if need be, I can always throw Mawile back in. My teammate here appears to want to go for the Dynamax immediately. That's fine with me. I don't need the Dynamax. If anything, you'll benefit from it more because you're actually using legendary Pokemon. Now, this is an Ultra Beast. But I guess Generation 8 kind of blurs the line and calls it, and considers an Ultra Beast a legendary Pokemon. So, for the sake of conversation, we're going to say it's a legendary Pokemon. Alright, here we go. So what's your plan? You're using Protect. I'm, I'm not too concerned about this Eevee. I wasn't sure if you were going to go for a Gigantamax strategy. Because you can, and you can inflict Infatuation, but you can't inflict it on us because both of the Pokemon on my side of the field right now are genderless. So you, you won't be inflicting Infatuation at all. And then you went for a flying type attack on an electric type Pokemon. You know, well, electric only resists like three types, right? Flying, electric itself, and then like steel. <laughs> but alright. 
I believe it resists steel. Now, now I'm second guessing myself. Water resists steel? Alright, either way, we're gonna go for dynamic punch. Eevee already used protect. It could be going for double protect. It's not gonna dynamax this turn, because it's not that player's turn to dynamax. It alternates every turn. So if the Zera Aura wanted the Dynamax, it could, but I don't I don't think that would be wise. I would want to save that in the back for a potential secondary Pokemon. Dynamaxing this early, I'm a little surprised my teammate did that. Oh, my opponent was just like, screw it. I'm taking the Dynamax. I'm I'm Dynamaxing Zera Aura. Alright, go for it. Go ahead. Use that Cherish Ball. Dynamax that Zera Aura. Not even worried. I don't exactly know what attack Zera Aura can run. I know you can get a fair share of electric type attacks. Your electric type attacks will not work on Golurk. You can probably learn some normal type attacks. That won't work on Golurk either. You can probably learn some body type attacks. That won't work on Golurk. And you went for Max Flare. That's fascinating. It is super effective, but so are your electric type moves. And you would get same type attack bonus from your electric moves. And you would set up electric terrain that you would benefit from anyway. And then my teammate is still going for this flying type move. That's very weird to me. I don't know what either of you guys are doing, to be completely honest. My teammate could go for a steel type attack, even if electric resists steel, and I don't remember if it does or not. Oh, I one-hit KO'd the Eevee, awesome. Alright, well, goodbye, Eevee. Even if the Zera Aura resisted a steel type attack, I feel like boosting our defenses would be a good idea instead of our speed. Because we are slow Pokemon. My Golurk, oh my god, it is so slow, it's got like a base speed of 12, or something absurd. Sylveon, okay. Especially defensive Eevee Lucian. But fortunately, I believe we're both physical attackers. Now, I've got a Steel-type move. I'll go ahead and use it. Oh, that would have been the chance to see if Electric resists Steel or not. You'd think that after competing in Pokemon for many years, and after doing, what is this, 130 battles in this iteration of Pokemon Vita, I would know the type matchups. But even I, I forget some of the random ones. I forget that, like, Rock resists Poison, and, well, as I mentioned earlier, Electric resisting Steel. But it, it'd be like that sometimes. Alright, there's the max. I don't know, you must not have another attacking move. You must have, like, Leech Seed and Protect or something. I don't know. Thanks for the speed boost, I guess. It's Even after all these speed boosts, I'm not gonna be all that fast. I'm faster than this Sylveon, thankfully. Will I KO it? No. No, I will not. It is bulky. Mystical Fire. Woo! Decent chunk of damage. Yeah, Mystical Fire on a Sylveon goes together like bread and turkey. Not the most obvious combination, but a pretty good one. Alright, in any case, n nobody's attacking me yet. Even if someone does attack me, I should be able to take a hit. The Zera Aura is at minus one attack, and my Golurk is holding an Assault Vest in case the Sylveon wishes to attack Golurk. And even then, I don't think it would have a super effective attack to hit Golurk with. It would need to know a Dark... Or no, I guess it could have Shadow Ball. All the evolutions can learn Shadow Ball. But even then, I don't, I don't think that would KO me. Meteor Beam, so that takes two turns to charge up unless you're holding that, that herb, Power Herb, I believe it is. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into the routine of things. I'm trying to remember what, Power Herb, yeah. So now that becomes a one turn move and Zera Aura is down. So now both sides, my side and your side, have utilized their Dynamax opportunities. And your Zera Aura is down and we haven't lost a single Pokemon yet. You guys, however, have already lost two of your six Pokemon, Eevee and Zera Aura. It's about to be three. I, I, it is weird for, for me to see Golurk outspeed anything. This is... I, I'm, I'm thankful. It's just weird. Alright, well... They each have two Pokemon remaining. I'm hoping to see Victini. There's Mew. Now, Mew's a wild card. Mew, Mew can be... can do whatever it wants. It has base 100 in every stat. Oh, no, no, no! This SB, that's the last Pokemon on that player's side. So I may as well take out Espeon right now. And then we can just double down on that Mew player. So you're going for Ingrain. So yeah, maybe that flying type move was your only only means of attack. Okay, flamethrower. Special attacking Mew. Okay. Mew can learn every TM. It has base 100 in every stat. And you can... Uh, I see a fair share of people use Mew for utility. But you can use it offensively as well. Shadow Ball. So that should deal a decent chunk. Espeon's a special attacker. But my Assault Vest is coming to play. I knew investing all those EVs into bulk was a good idea. Alright, Poltergeist. That should deal a decent chunk of damage. Oh, you're holding an odd incense. Hmm. Well, it is certainly odd. And it is a one-hit KO! That's what I'm talking about! Alright, Espeon down. So that player is out of Pokemon. So we can we can double down on this other player. I still have all three of mine. 
And my teammate, he still has two more. And one of his Pokemon he could have brought was Regigigas. We'll see what he brought in a moment. Gorgeist. Shiny Gorgeist. Oh, you're just showing off. Although that was... Uh, they made Gor Shiny Gorgeist easier to obtain back in October. I, I remember because I got one from a raid den. Anyway. All right. Irrelevant. Let's see. So... Yeah, I guess my opponent could still bring Victini. Unless you brought your other Zera Aura. So, I'm gonna go for Poltergeist. And you're gonna go for Flamethrower again. Yeah. Alright, I don't know anything about this Mew except that it's potentially a special attacker. Oh, it's a special attacker! Alright, at one hit KO this Gore, guys. Alright, suddenly, this battle's getting a little more even. You're not holding an item?! Why the heck? See, I always... I, I wanted to comment on that, but I didn't. That's basically the luck of the draw you have with these multi-battles. I don't want to sound mean to anybody that participates in these, but I feel like a lot of people go into these battles, but they, they're they not, like, competitive players. They don't EV train their Pokemon and stuff. Okay, we'll go for Dynamic Punch. Oi! You know, I've gone to these multi-battles and not and people pick Anything Goes, which is the rule set we're playing right now, which is why everything's level 100. But some players don't always bring fully leveled up Pokemon. A lot of players don't bring the best attacks or the best abilities. And in this case, this guy didn't even equip items. And that actually messes me up. I was not prepared for that. I should have known I was I was gonna make a comment about it. Like, it, it might not be holding an item because that's how it is sometimes. I've, I've teamed up with players who had their Pokemon hold X attacks, and it's like, no, that's not how that item works! Uh, that, that's how it is, I guess. But I did choose to make this harder for myself by not having any legendary Pokemon, by not competing with any legendary Pokemon, so I don't know. So Trick Room is in effect. Golurk would normally benefit greatly from Trick Room, but you, my teammate here boosted my speed stat three times, so I'm actually going to switch into Mawile. Even so, this Mew could psych me out have some sort of crazy physical attack. I'm intimidating it. I don't really know what's going to happen. Hatterene's going for Mystical Fire. That'll at least lower the Mew's special attack. Should it go for Flamethrower again? And this Mew could always use Flamethrower on my Mawile. But with any luck, the confusion will do something. It did not. Alright, no worries. We're okay. So my teammate's down to his final Pokemon. I've still got all three of mine. I don't really know what my opponent's doing. That Mew is not holding an item. The perk of using- okay, I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch real quickly. The perk of using Poltergeist is that it's a super strong Ghost-type move, and it reveals the whole item of your opponent. But, no, I don't know if that was a strategic choice, but this Mew is not holding an item. There's no reason for you to not be holding an item. You always have leftovers or something. Alright, hopefully Dazzling Gleam will take out this Mew. Very good. Okay. Now, hopefully, the third and final Pokémon of this player right here is Victini. Come on, let's have Victini make its debut in my Pokemon Bata series! Victini, yay! Nice! Okay, so I will switch back into Golurk, and I'll bring Mawile back in afterward, because Victini is very similar to Mew. It's a little bit of a wild card. It has base 100 in every stat, although whereas Mew can learn every single attack, Victini cannot, but it has the signature move of V-Create, and hopefully we see it here. I didn't do a whole lot, but that's okay. It resists that move. Special attack fell. There it is! V create! My first time ever seeing it in this game. Ow! Frick, man! Oh, V creates a physical move, isn't it? Well, that's fine. I'll send Mawile back in and we'll intimidate it. Plus, you just lowered your defense by using V create. But there you go. I finally got to see it. Thank you to my opponent for bringing this Victini. All right, here we go. Let's do it, Mawile! Yeah! All right, I'm gonna sucker punch it and hopefully I can take it out. And Mawile, you'll have the novelty of being able to take out a legendary in this game without your Mega Form. See, I still use Mawile with or without her Mega Stone because I still think Mawile conceptually is a very good Pokemon. But I admit, it's very clear that her Mega Form is so much stronger than her default form. <laughs> she was busted when she had a Mega Form. Hopefully, it comes back one day. But for now, sucker punch it! Darn it! Ah, well, Victini is supposed to be, like, the lucky Pokemon, right? It's symbolically a Pokemon associated with luck or something. Well, that's okay. My Hattering took it out using a Psychic-type move. So goodbye, Victini. All right, well, that was a multi-battle in which I used three of my lesser-used Pokemon, and I was victorious. Shoutouts to my teammate. Thank you very much. All right. Well... I would like to do one more multi-battle. I guess not with this group. I tried. I tried. But that's okay. Well, 
I will try to do one more multi-battle. I will try to use the same strategy again where I bring in these three Pokemon and then three legendary Pokemon and see what happens. But for now, Mawile, good job. That wraps up this video, Pokemon Bata. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you'd like to potentially challenge me and appear in this series, there's a form you can fill in the description down below. Otherwise, that's the end of this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I messed up my outro again. I don't know what's going on. I can't really spin around anymore. Although, that's kind of flashy. Whistling first, making Maw Wild pose, and then spin. Things to consider. Hmm. Hey, thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue to support my content, the best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is click the little buttons down below. Also, please be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with my video schedule. My tag is at RealYoShiller. I hope to see you all in future videos. Bye-bye. Whoosh.